When it comes to the fires in Canada, some nearly 500 were burning as of Wednesday evening shown here on this map with at least five fires newly reported. To learn more about efforts to fight these fires and the resources deployed, I spoke with Jennifer Kamau from the Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Center about the scope of the fires and how they are responding. We've requested international help because, um, as I mentioned earlier, all the resources or most of the resources in Canada have been put to use, which means that every province and territory is using their own resources. So currently internationally, we have 1,550 firefighters who have been deployed. When you think of a forest fire, you think it would smell like a campfire more than anything else, but that's not what people are reporting at home. Some of them are reporting that it smells like plastic. Several around the state have been reporting this smell, so we wanted to find answers for you at home as to what exactly is going on. That's why I reached out to the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy for an explanation. They say the smells all come down to VOCs or volatile organic compounds released by the fire and how far they have to travel to get here. Um, those VOCs that produce the campfire smell kind of go through a little chemical reaction with the UV radiation and kind of dissipate, whereas the other VOCs like benzene, formaldehyde, acrolein, for example, um, those produce more of like the chemically more plasticky smell. But there is good news from the EGLE. They say there's no additional danger from the plastic smelling smoke versus the smells of a campfire.